Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Darwin. How are you? It's an excellent day. Uh, and you? <laughs> yes, excellent day. Uh, very, very happy. Okay. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Eso era que andaba buscando. Se me había olvidado. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> nice, to see you. Uh, nice to see you. Good evening, Adita y los chicos que creo que. Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, hello. good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Ahí viene la teacher. Welcome, teacher. Thank you. Just let me, let me, let me log in into the other device. Other device. Ya entiendo. Um, now I need yes. to be in my phone just in case. Recording in progress. Okay. Okay, so welcome, welcome. Let me turn on my camera. I'm already <clears throat> connected and here we are. Okay, so my goodness, just 10 participants right now. We're 11. Gloria Elizabeth is coming. Let's see, Michelle, nice. Thank you for the camera, Osmin. I see that you are at home right now. Nice, yes. Angela. You have the fan with next to you, Angela. <laughs> uh, do you, do you, I see that. Well, let me ask you, do you have the fan next to you? Do you have the, the fan? The fan? My goodness, I'm sweating. It's so hot. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, because I drink a uh, tea. Mm -hmm. No, but listen yeah. to my question. Do you have the fan or your fan next to you? What is fan? What is a fan? My goodness, yes. for me sure. <laughs> Fan. What is a furniture? I don't know, teacher. Oh my goodness. Hey. <laughs> Ayuda, chicos. <laughs> uh huh. Do you have the fan? The fan. Mm -hmm. so, do have the fan. What is a fan, Angela? I no remember, teacher. You don't remember? Suerte? No. no. I'm sorry? Suerte? Oh, no. Suerte? What do you mean? Fan? 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 The fan, the fan. What is a fan, Darwin? I don't know, teacher. Don't remember. My goodness, the fan, the one that is when it's really hot. Abanico. No, the fan. I I I don't know why I say pericos. <laughs> my goodness, let me show you my fan. It's almost close to me. Lo voy a llevar al kinder a ustedes. Teacher, the fam, the family. Fan. It's family. Oh, teacher, I'll help me. 
Ah. <risa> Ventilador. Y yo, sí. My goodness. Teacher, ¿cómo te escribe? Estamos donde nos quedamos el viernes, teacher. Regañados. My goodness. So, yeah, I'm asking you because I see that your hair is like flooding. Aha, uh -huh, that's why I'm asking you. Do you have the fan next to you? Uh -huh. uh, yes, yes. yes, what? Uh, yes, I, I is. Copy. Yes, I. <laughs> Do you have the fan? Do you have the. Sí? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. yes, what? Respuesta completa. <clears throat> yes, I have. Mm. <laughs> My goodness, acuérdense cuando yo, un, bueno, yo cualquiera le pregunte con el do, you need to I, answer with I the do. do. Uh -huh. I have, I have. Yes, I do. There you go. Yes, I, I do. Yes, I And do. And then you can complete the answer because yes, I do is a short answer, right? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Pero usted me va a dar una respuesta completa. Yes, I do. I have the fan. Next to me. Okay. I, do, I have the fan. The fan next to me. Okay. So next ahí me está dando una respuesta completa. No solo yes, no, yes. Okay. Oh, yes, I do. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Okay. Very, very nervous. Relax, relax the K. Relax the K. Don't worry. Estoy tomando un té para los nervios ahorita. No. Mucho calor me ha dado. Yeah, it is, it is. I, I feel the same. I, I don't have the fan because I don't know why, but when I have the fan too close, I feel that I have like a third throw. But it is really hot, but I have the window right here. I'm next to the window. So that's why I like to be here in this area for the class because I'm the only one in the room, and also because right here in front, I have the window. So, but even, uh, I feel, I'm sweating right now, okay? Yes, I am, I'm, I'm sweating. Sweating, Always. sudando, right? So, sweating. Nice. Bueno, y la cámara de toda la gente, ¿dónde está? Se les perdió en el fin de semana. Uh oh No veo cámara de nadie aquí, qué barbaridad. ¿Qué les ha pasado? Niños, ¿se han portado mal? My goodness. Well, so thank you, Sulma. I don't know who's calling me. My goodness. ¿Y alguien de ustedes es, creo yo, que me está llamando a esta hora? Nueve cuatro nueve uno. Is that boyfriend? No, it's not. No sé, es que algunos de ustedes me han escrito aquí, veo un mensaje, pero. Mm. Okay. So I see that there are some still working. So let me pass the attendance, okay? So we will see what's going on. What's going on right here? My goodness, I have a video call. Creo que se equivocaron. Well, let's see, let's see. Rafael, it says on the way. Okay. Thank you, Jan. See, nice. Now I see your camera. Nice. Well, let me see right here. What is the list? So, did you do something important during the weekend? Cuéntenme qué han hecho, qué hicieron. In English or in Spanish? My goodness, in English. Today is the pizza day. Do you know what day is today? Because it says right here in Google. Let's see. Homenaje a la pizza. Yeah, it is. I don't know. Today is the pizza day. 
Uh -huh. Something special. Did you do something uh, exciting during the weekend? No. Vienen sin palabras, vienen ahora. Let's see, Osmin, Osmin. Hello, Osmin, yes, how are you? Hello, I am fine. Thank you okay. for asking here in my house. Perfect, I see that you are at home, okay. So, yes. Osmin, did you do uh, something special during the weekend? Did you do something different from the other ones? No, in my case, uh, it's normally my working yesterday. Um, okay, you were working. Okay. Nothing but special. you were uh, resting during uh, Saturday, right? All right, all right, yes. Okay, uh, so did you do something? No. Um, no, no. Nothing special. My goodness. Not, nothing special. It's normally my my normal home. weekend. Normal weekend, exactly. Okay, okay. Let's see. What about you, Ada Patricia? How are you, Ada Patricia? Fine, teacher. Thank you. In my case, my weekend is and the home. Okay, you stay and, at home. And and yesterday, how do you say? Decoramos. Okay, we uh, decorate. We decorate este uh, for for, for Christmas. Christmas. Okay, for Christmas. so okay during the weekend you were decorating your house, right? Because of uh -huh. the. Christmas a celebration, nice, okay. Yeah. Amazing, nice. Uh, let's see, Michelle, what about you? How are you, Michelle? Can you share something special, like a highlight or something like, um, I don't know, important, <laughs> exciting that you did during the weekend? No, teacher, in my case, I spent the time <laughs> watching series ah, okay <laughs> but in english right yes mm. <laughs> <laughs> 50 50 and 50 50 in english yes. and 50 in spanish spanish yes okay <laughs> okay yes. nice interesting let's see Mayra, Melanie, how are you, Mayra, Melanie? Fine, teacher, thank you. Okay, um, did you do something special, something different um, this last weekend? No, uh, on my weekend, I was at home with my husband and my daughter. And yesterday, I had dinner with my parents. Ah, okay, so, but the dinner was at home or it was... Uh, Outside the house or like in a Out, restaurant? Outside outside the house in a restaurant. We okay. ate pupusas. Woohoo! Like Salvadorian on Sundays, right? Yes. So in my case, I also, I, I don't know why, I love pupusas. I'm a pupusa lover, okay? So I love pupusas. I can be eating pupusas for lunch, dinner, breakfast every day. And I don't, I don't feel tired of pupusas. I don't know why, but I really like it. Okay. Me too. So, but you know that if you eat pupusas every day, so you are getting fat, right? So yeah. I avoid to eat pupusas during the whole week. But always, 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 always love to eat pupusas. Can be Saturday at night, can be Sunday in the morning, or can be Sunday at night. So, pero no, no puedo perdonar un fin de semana sin comer pupusas. Okay, yeah, yeah, typical, right? Typical Salvadorian dinner, Salvadorian breakfast, pupusas, right, pupusas. Nice. Okay, so let me start with the attendance. My goodness, 
Se me olvida que tengo que pasar la asistencia siempre, niños. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me see. Yep, 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 yep. Let me see what is the attendance. Okay, today is Monday the 6th, right? Monday the 6th. My goodness, two more weeks and then we are over and over and over and over. So this week we will have the, we are going to finish the lesson three today. We are going to start number four tomorrow, I guess. And uh, then we are done, my goodness. So let's see the attendance. Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you, Adriana Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you, Adri. Ana Michelle. Present. Thank you, Angela. Present teacher. Thank you, Darwin. Present teacher. Thank you, Darwin. I don't know, Darwin today is in a, in a, I don't know how to say, it's like in a serious mode, okay? It's in a professional mode today. <laughs> Ah, no, Darwin, don't, don't be like that. Uh, let's see, Flor de Maria. Flor, no la he visto. Flor, 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 Flor. Florcita, no sé qué me la está pasando. Bueno, pero el viernes sí vino, el jueves fue que no vino. Uh, Gloria, Elizabeth, I saw you. Nice, Gloria. Joana Patricia. Joana Patricia. No. My goodness, Lourdes, Beatriz, Lourdes. No la he visto, Lourdes. I haven't seen you. Lourdes, Beatriz, present. Okay, thank you, Lourdes. Uh, Margarita, Stephanie. I'm here. Okay, thank you, Margarita. I don't see your camera, Esperando Margarita. A alguien, mientras miro la puerta, se quiebra un vidrio. My goodness, be careful with the mute. Uh, Mayra Melanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo. Nelson. Present teacher. Oh my goodness, Nelson, what are you? Uh, I work it, teacher. You're working? Let me see. Ah, mentira. <laughs> okay, Nelson. Uh, Ophelia. Ophelia Orellana. Here, teacher. Ah, nice. Thank you, Ophelia. Uh, let's see, Osmin Baires. I know you are here. Present, present teacher. Thank you, Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa Elena, my goodness. Rosa mm -hmm. Elena, good evening. Hello. Hello. Nice. Sandra Gladys. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandrita. My goodness, you're dancing. Uh, let's see, Susana Carolina. Present. Nice, Susana, thank you. Um, let's see, Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, and uh, Sulma, right? Sulma Rosa. Okay, perfect, thank you. You know that we have the attendance later on one more time, okay? Nice. Who, who gets in into the meeting? Let's see, now we are 21. Okay, let's see, Nelson no finish. I don't know. I saw that song when Ophelia, that's the, it's the one you have, you are in two devices. Okay, so no problem. Let's start. So as I told you, we are in the, almost in the last part where we still have one week in this week. But uh, if you realize it's Almost, right? We are almost over, almost done with this uh, model, but that's nice, okay? It's nice because that's the idea, right? Be uh, learning something new and be uh, 
improving your language. Okay, that's the idea. So as I told you, we are going to continue with the um, Oh my goodness, I have something in the chat. Okay, so as I told you, we have the this week. Okay, we are going to complete the uh, lesson number three, and we already covered the midterm exam, right? So um, in this week, also we are going to start with the last a uh, unit. Okay, the unit number. Uh, four and uh, next week we are going to complete the final quiz okay so probably we are going to have probably one day or two days for us to do like a recap a review we can select a topic or we can do something uh out of the out of the book because I guess like Wednesday next week, we will finish everything in the book, okay? So we will have like two days that we can do, as I told you, like a review of the topics that we covered during the, during the, um, the model, or we can talk about something that you would like to double check, okay? So we can have that, time for us to review a topic that probably you already covered, but probably you don't remember very well. So we can, you know, do like a double check on that, okay? In case if you want to talk about something special, you can send me a message and I can consider that topic, okay? For the last two days, okay? Because remember there are just four units in the, in the, model and we are good with the time okay so probably on wednesday next week we will be completing the exercise that we have in the book so we will have time no es que no vamos a hacer nada ya hay vacación right no we will have two days for us to double check okay if you have a topic that you say ay esto lo vimos allá como en Junio, pero como yo estaba algo dormido en la clase, casi que yo no puse atención, entonces medio me acuerdo que lo vieron, pero no entendí. So, you can send me a message. Hey, teacher, mire, ¿por qué no hacemos un repaso de este tema? Yo casi no lo entiendo. So, we can see that, okay? So, on the last date, so we can uh, mention the topic, review the topic, or do like a summary for you to have a better idea, okay? And if you don't send me any message, any topic, so I will bring mice, okay? I do have mice, so we can, you know, study. That's the idea, okay? Study, okay? So uh, let me share the screen really quick. Okay, I guess now you can see my screen. Just let me see. If we have this, yeah. Okay. Let me see. My goodness, my baby is again. Okay. So yeah, you see my screen. So this is class 16, right? Yeah, 16. So uh, let's see what we have right here. So the production, my goodness, this is something that we have in the book and we are going to read, okay? I know that you love reading. Okay, so we are going to read right now because this is something that is in the book. So if you have the book, so you can see that is there. I'm not inventing. So this is still from the unit number three and it says, I will be able to identify specific details in a passage related to calculating cost of a product. Remember that we continue talking about the production line, the name of the unit, it's production line, that we are talking about how to produce something and see how much you are going to spend, how much you are going to receive, how you are going to evaluate the quality. 
the, uh, the quality of the product and everything, right? So that's what we are talking in this unit, okay? It says number one, we have a question right here. Do you agree that regardless of the site of the business, analyzing costs is essential to make profits, okay? So we are not like a businessman, businesswoman, but in a way we do business. Okay, every single day we do business. Okay, so you manage uh, your pocket, for example, your budget. You know what is the budget, right? Let's see, Angela, what is the budget? Budget. You know what is the budget? Um, no, okay, so let me put it the word in the chat budget. That's the word budget. Budget. Um, budget, budget, budget. If I say uh, my budget is, um, I don't know, $600 in a month, in a month. Es mentira porque no es eso, pero as an example, right? So my, my budget is, I don't know, $5 a day. So that's the money that you think that you can spend. My goodness, I don't know what happened to me right here. Um, well, that's the budget, okay? That's the budget. The money, an estimated income in our expenses, okay? So it's a quantity of money in this case, allow. So budget, thank you, uh, Lourdes. My goodness. Porque me sale aquí mensaje solo para Adri me sale. Meeting everyone in the meeting. So let me put it one more time porque no sé por qué se le fue el mensaje solo a Adri. Ahí está. That's the word. Look, Angela, budget. Okay, budget. That is presupuesto, right? Presupuesto in Spanish. So the money that you... Um, consider that you can spend, okay? So we have a budget for, probably we have a budget for the month, we have a budget for the week. I don't know, probably you have a budget for the date. I do have mine, so I know how much money I can spend daily, okay? So if you don't have your budget, so you better Create yours, okay? No puede gastar más de lo que ganamos. Eso es este, educación financiera, okay? So if you earn, I don't know, seven, eight hundred dollars a month, so you have to spend 500. Then you have to save money, right? So I don't know if you like saving, you know what is saving money, right? When you have a bank account and then you put the money there. So you start saving the money. And then when you have, I don't know, enough money to buy something so you can take off the money from the bank and use your money instead of be fiado, right? So mira que así dice la gente, vengo a comprar una refrigeradora. Y es mentira porque va a fiar. Solo si usted lleva los 700 dólares en la mano y lo paga, eso sí es comprar. Ok, pero nosotros vamos a fiar. Y después ahí le llegan a quitar la refri los dos meses. Right? So, because we don't organize the, 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 the budget that we have. But if you are able to, uh, you have the ability to organize your money. So you don't have the necessity to go to ask for free or ask for uh, quotas, right? Down payment, you know what is down payment? Right. 
Rosa down payment? You are on mute, Rosa. Elena. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. Down, down payment. Regreses, um, no. Mm, no, really. My no. goodness, no sé por qué me manda el mensaje solo a Adri, Adri, solo a usted le cae, mire. I don't know why, when I send a message, it says, send to Adriana. My goodness, Adriana, solo a usted le caen las palabras. Down, down payment. Down payment. Oh les estoy dando clase oh. educación financiera, niñas, para que pago aprendan. Inicial. Pago inicial. Ajá, en how we say pago inicial in, in Spanish en El Salvador. Será como prima. prima. There you go, la prima, ok. La famosa prima, que es una cuota, ¿verdad? Que usted da y le dan la refri. Usted dice, yo di 30 pesos, me llevaron la refri y debo 500 90 dólares, right? So, y a veces le dicen, hey, cero prima, right? Está ahí en la comercial, en el mall, cero prima, ok? Si usted quiere, se lleva la refri ya sin pagar, pero ni un peso. Ya va uno a fiar todo. So, el down payment, down payment es la prima, ok? So, instead of you, um, do down payments and you know do monthly payments so you better save the money and then purchase whatever you want okay so purchase the products i don't know why but i don't like to be uh all money okay no sé por qué pero mí, yo le tengo miedo a las deudas yo un dólar debo yo no puedo dormir pensando que no le he pagado el dólar al fulano. So, I, I, I don't know, but hay personas que deben hasta la vida y ahí pasan bien galamba, como que nada. So, it's, that's not my case, okay? So, that's not my case. If I need something like, I don't know, like a machine, like a laundry machine or whatever, so, I prefer to save the money, and when I have the money, I go and get the product just with one payment, and that's it. Pero eso de que lleve, se le lo va a empezar a pagar en dos meses. Hmm. No, digo yo. No, no, no. That's not for me. Okay. So, well, I'm talking about this because it says right here that it's essential to analyze the profit. Okay. So analyze the cost. What is profit? Let me see my pointer right here. Uh huh. What is profit? Ganancia. Ah, okay. Ganancia, right? So that is the profit. Okay. So it is right. It is important if you have any business. So you need to get profits, right? If you are selling something and instead of get profits, so you get extra cost. So that's not a good business for you guys. Okay? So, or you are not organizing well your, your business. Then it says, have you ever calculated the price of a product? So I don't know if you are aware about that, but every time that you are going to purchase something, any product. So I don't know if you see the, the prices, right? Hasta para comprar los frijoles, el arroz, no sé ustedes, right? But we know the prices, right? Sabemos, no, es que la libra está a 45 cents. My goodness, now today is 52 cents. So eight, uh, four cents more. So we need to analyze the prices. Ahora, si a usted no, usted le sobra el billete, dos dólares más para tener. So we don't care, right? So if you have extra money, but if you have your budget, so you know how much you have and how much you can spend, right? Then it says, can you name three uh, fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? I don't know. We have if we have different products, right? Talking about something expensive, and also if we talk uh, uh, if we talk about something that is cheaper, right? Like 
cereal, rice, meal. So we know the prices, but let's see, let's continue, okay? So what we are going to do is the exercise too. It says read the following text uh, featuring tips on how to analyze the cost of a product, then answer the questions below. So what we are going to do, we are going to read, okay? Right now we are going to read the paragraph about the feature tips. Okay, so we will see some tips about how to analyze the cost of a product. Okay, so let's see, Susana Hernandez, please help us with the reading. Let's start right here, these two lines. Okay. Thank you, there, Susana. Okay. There are three important factors business needs to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product and the desired markup by the business. Okay, thank you. Perfect. So it says that there are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of uh, production, the market de demand for the product, and the desired markup by the business. Do we have any new word right here? No? Markup, markup. Aha, uh -huh, nice. Do you know what is, remember that we are talking about uh, pricings, right? So we are talking about um, the, the production in this case, the article is about tips, right? Tips about uh, business, okay, business. So in this case, the market will be like the amount, the estimated, um, the estimated, um, like the percentage that we have. No sé cómo explicarles, okay? Like, for example, you have, I don't know, $20, okay? So the markup that you have, it's $20, okay? That means that you are not allowed to spend more or to spend less, okay? You the have margin. to spend, there you go. You have to spend exactly what you have, okay? No más, no menos, ahí se tiene que quedar. Okay, so that will be the mark. Okay, es como el, lo que usted tiene disponible. De ahí no se puede pasar. Okay, como le digo, el budget, usted tiene su presupuesto y usted dice, no, pues en este mes tengo un margen de 20 dólares extra. Entonces, con esos 20 pesos voy a comprar tal cosa, right? No, y el margen que me acaba es de menos, no puedo gastar más, right? So, ya compré los regalos, dice usted, de Navidad, y ya me quedé pobre, okay? So, you oh. haven't received the, the aguinaldo. How would say aguinaldo? Do you receive aguinaldo? Aguinaldo. Uh -huh. Not remember. Aguinaldo. We call aguinaldo, but that is like, like that is like a bonus. It's a bonus. Mm -hmm. It's a bonus. Okay, that's the that's the way that we well the way the way that it's called bonus. Yeah, bonus. It's something that is not part of your salary, but the company will pay will give it to you because of low, right? No, es porque el jefe sea buena onda y y le quieras regalar pisto, es porque es ley. It's low. <laughs> It's low, right? So, well, so uh, you have to manage the budget that you will get for your bonus, Christmas bonus, así sería, right? Christmas bonus, el aguinaldo, Christmas bonus, okay? So you have to make Everything. Tienen que hacer magia con esos bonos que le van a dar, así sea 
50 dollars. How much money, how much bonus you get? Based on the law, it's 15 days, right? 15 calendar days. If you have one year in the company. Imagínate, estoy dando clase de del código de trabajo. No se vaya a dejar engañar. Si usted ya tiene un año en la empresa donde está, le corresponden 15 días. Si ya tiene más de cinco años trabajando ahí, le corresponden 21 días. Si ya tiene 10 o más, le corresponde 30 days, un, un mes de salario. Libre de descuento. No le pueden descontar, pero ni un penny. Tienen que darle full salary. Ok. Vaya, pues no lo vayan a enganchar ahí. But the thing is that you have to spend wisely. What is wisely? Wisely. How do you spell wisely? Let me see if I can put it right here. Wisely. Let me see, que en el chat no sé por qué me sale enviar solo a... a... Lo tiene que poner para todo. Uh -huh, pero no sé por qué me sale. Sí, sí, está no, bien. Oh, yeah. Quizás, sí. teacher, porque Ajá. yo le envié un mensaje y solo me está contestando a mí. Ajá, uh -huh. I don't know why. Yeah, why I saw your obviamente, message. Obviamente, teacher. Yeah, uh -huh. why is it like that? It's like, I think that it's a, an adjective. It's an adjective. Teacher. Yeah, it is an adverb. Uh -huh. Wisdom is the, is the exactly. verb, Exactly, no? exactly. Yes. But oh, in yeah. this case, it's an adverb. Uh -huh, yeah. Es la, una palabra que va a describir Sabiria. un nombre, Sabiria. okay? Sabiria. So wisely, okay? So you have to spend your Christmas bonus wisely, okay? No vaya a comprar este agua en vez de nada. Muchos eso compran, lastimosamente. So, aguardiente. So. ¿Cómo, cómo diría a lo loco? En inglés. A lo loco. <risa> o despilfarrar. De yeah, that would be Bye. like. Yeah, there, there is, puede haber una expresión bien de ellos para decir eso. Let's see. Like in a crazy way, okay. Wildly, okay. Imagine wildly, wildly. That would be a lo loco, wildly. Like a wild. Ajá, uh -huh. there oh, you go. Pero ya está Ajá, wildly. Lo pone okay. como un adverb. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So, well, let's continue. Sigamos con esta lectura que tenemos. Huh? My goodness. So let's see, Adri, help us with the next paragraph, please, one right here. In the cost of production. Mm -hmm. The cost of production. Prices and variable costs determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Prices costs include items, items such as the rent for your office or, or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much of, of your FISA and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total FISA cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimate total sales. You will have 
then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Okay, thank you. Nice, Adri. So let's see, look, nice advice, right? Nice advice. So remember that we are talking about the product line, okay? So what is this? Fix, okay? The verb is fixed, right? But in this case, it's, it's like in past, right? So fixed, okay? Este, ya se puede en este verbo, right? Oh, no. Yes or no? Yes, the, me the mechanic fixed the car. Mm -hmm. They fixed yeah. the car, right? So fixed. Yeah. So in this case, it's, it's, it's in past, right? Like fixed. Es algo um, estipulado, no sé cómo decirle. Es algo que siempre va a estar that ahí. Is, that is predetermined or set. Mm -hmm. Fixed. fixed, okay, fixed. Let's see, fix um, uh, variable costs. Determine the selling price of a uh, business for, let's see, firm's product, okay? Uh, fixed costs include items, okay? Such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Uh, variable costs include items that change with your uh, sales volume, volume, like, uh, like labor and materials. In pricing your product first, determine, right? Determine, esta palabra no se le olvide, determine, muchos, muchos lo dicen de otra forma, pero determine, okay? Determine, that's the correct determine how much of your uh, fixed and uh, variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although, although, okay, TH, right? Acuérdese, TH, tiene que sacar un poquito la lengua, right? Although, it may be a difficult calculation. A simple formula, formula, formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable, variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit, okay? So imagine if we do this, so we can calculate how much one product, depending whatever product it is. So we will see the price, okay? We will see the price for that product. And then it says, now you have uh, to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production, okay? So do we have new words right here? Any word that you consider that is like new? No? No. Okay, nice. Yeah, new words now, I guess. So, Pricing. which Pricing. one? Pricing. Yes. Pricing. Pricing. pricing, pricing, pricing in pricing your product. Price. So, no. price is the price, right? Mm -hmm. Price. In this este case, es, es como para calcular el costo de X producto, right? Mm -hmm. Cuánto le va a costar. Es como que usted diga, mire, yo voy a vender tamales. Usted tiene que saber cuánto va a gastar para hacer los tamales, a cómo los va a dar y en teoría con esta fórmula usted va a sacar el precio de a cómo a usted le sale cada tamal. Supongamos que le sale a 10, a 15 centavos, usted lo va a dar en 25. Entonces usted, en teoría usted le va a ganar 10 centavos a cada tamal. 
un ejemplo, right? Poniendo algo así. Pero en este caso okay, estamos okay. hablando de business, right? So yo produzco algo y a cómo me sale per unit, right? So every single product. Nice. Okay. Let's continue, okay? Darwin, please help us with the next market demand for a product or service. Okay. Market demand for a product of service. Market demand for a product of service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demanding is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As price fall, demand rise and price rise. Demand falls, demand for your product is just as import to consider when setting and price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Okay, nice. Thank you, Darwin. Let's see. Uh, it says uh, market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The love of uh, demand is that there is an inverse relationship between uh, demand and price. As prices fall, demand rises, and as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just an import. Yeah, it's just as important uh, to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or a direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does uh, demand for a product. Nice. So this is true, right? So los que han estudiado algo de finanzas y cosas de de business, right? Administración, saben que a mayor demanda, mayor, mayor costo. Costo, ok. Menor demanda, menor costo. Menor costo, ok. So eso es algo que los que estudian eso de, no sé, de administración, este, ven esas teorías así, right? So that's why it is important to produce something that you consider that you, there is a demand product, right? Porque si no usted va a, a producir algo que no tiene demanda, por lo menos no, por lo, por lo mismo no va a tener producción. Okay. So do we have words new right here? Any new work? Business owner. What is the meaning? The owner. So you are the owner of the car, okay? So you are the owner of the company, okay? So if you are producing, I don't know, uh, shoes, so you are the owner because you are the one who's producing, who has the money, okay? That's the owner, okay? The owner of the business, okay? So that means like the boss, the big boss, right? The owner. Did you get the, the idea, Margarita? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. Perfect. Any other word that you consider that is? There is, here, uh, here is, no, here is, uh, here is, yeah. Here mm -hmm. is a, a face of it, it goes up. Uh-huh, what is? As a consumer, as, a, as at the end of the, of the part of it. As ghost the consumer up. income goes up, so does demand for a product. Goes up. Yes. 
Okay, yeah, it is a phrasal verse. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand demands for a product, okay? So for example, right, right now in December, right? So because of Christmas, so we have a lot of consumers with incomes that goes up because of the Christmas bonus, okay? So in this month, we normally, we spend, in one month, we spend what we usually spend in two months, okay? So, porque le aseguro que de los que estamos aquí, tal vez un 2% va a guardar el aguinaldo. O sea, eso es algo, yo no soy de, um, de estudio de esto, de administración o de qué, de cosas de finanzas, pero hay estudios que basan en eso, right? So, you receive your Christmas bonus today. So next week, you don't have nothing about your Christmas bonus. So you spend it, okay? Y alguien me dice, no, es que yo tengo que pagar aquí. Yeah, but you spend it, okay? Porque lo debe, porque lo prestó, porque lo regaló, porque se lo comió, porque lo compró, lo que sea, right? But we spend it. So in this month, so we will have consumer's income go up, okay? So ¿por qué creen que en Navidad todo el mundo vende lo que sea? Porque va a haber más dinero de lo normal que en otros meses, right? Because of the famous uh, Christmas bonus, because le mandan el regalo de Navidad de allá del norte y por algún motivo hay más dinero, right? So le mandan su Christmas bonus del más allá and uh, for that reason, so you have more money to spend it, okay? So, si no vean ahí todas las ofertas, 50% de descuento, casi que les regalan las cosas. I have to, I have to say for buying uh, scholar books in January. <laughs> ah, okay. So you have to spend, yeah, that's something that we have to save money because in January, normally we have to, we have to get, um, uh, like, let's see, like a student supply, right? So student supplies, so everything about school, right? So I'm going to spend, I already have the list for my baby. It's going to start school next year. So I have a long, big list. Okay, creo que como que lo voy a mandar a la universidad hasta la lista. Okay, so I have to spend on that. So I have to save money. But unfortunately, just 2% of the people that is here in this class is going to save the money. So the other 98%, it's going to spend the Christmas bonus. Okay, así que. No sé si alegrarnos por el Christmas bonus. O preocuparnos porque más vamos a gastar. Okay, so, but that's the way it is. So, let's finish. My goodness, let's finish this paragraph. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver oh aquí. God, determine, determine. Um, Michelle, please help us. Help us with the last paragraph okay okay determining the markup of a product regardless of the type of a small business markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine this the selling pre, the selling price the markup percentage is the de determined by the amount of your planet profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed perform by the seller. Okay, nice, thank you, nice. So let's see, this is the last tip, the last advice that we have. Okay, so remember this word is uh, determined, right? So, but in this case is an IGNG determining, 
Ok, so determining the markup, esto ya lo mencionamos, what it is of a product. So we will see el margen, dijimos, right? So de lo que puede costar el producto X que se esté creando, ok? Regardless of the type of a small business, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price, ok? So el margen de ganancia, dice usted, voy a ver cuál es el margen de ganancia si yo hago este, tamales para vender, right? So yo pongo un ejemplo así, right? But in the book it's business, right? Que usted cree un champú, le haga un producto que lo venda, right? But that's an example, right? So how you will put the price, okay, for the uh, selling price. Okay, the market percentage is determined by the amount of your planet profit. Okay, so cuando usted in inicia un negocio, en teoría usted debe de tener una idea de la ganancia, right, el profit. Yo no creo que usted se va a meter a un negocio donde usted va a perder en lugar de ganar, right, que puede pasar Sí, right, pero no es la idea, right? So if you start with a product, the idea is to get the profit, right? The benefits, not to uh, lost it, okay? Uh, the type of the product of service you are selling, how rapidly, okay, rapidly the product sells and the amount of services performed by the seller. Okay, so that is the idea, right? So every time that you think um, sell something, okay, or create something, offer a product or a service, so you need to, you need to think about everything, right? How much mm -hmm. you are going to spend creating the product, okay? So you need to think about how much you are going to receive as an income or profit, because of the product and how much every single like unit, the percentage or the price, okay? El costo, right? How much it costs, okay? The product per unit. Okay, do we have any work right here in the last, in the last um, paragraph? No. Okay. So remember that the idea on this on this article is uh, the tips, right? The tips for us to see how much how, how we are going to calculate the price for a product. Okay. So for a product, imagine que usted dice voy a vender no sé chocobananos, charamuscas, algo así, right? So you need to have the idea of how much you are going to spend in the uh, ingredients or the time that you are going to spend on that, how much it will be the final price and everything. So that's the idea of this article, right? Have a better idea about how to do business, okay? So let me pass the attendance right now one more time. Let's see, Ada Patricia. Here. Thank you, Adri Stephanie. Present. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Present. Thank you, Angela. Present teacher. Thank you, Darwin. Present teacher. Thank you, Flor de Maria. Present. Nice, Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Joanna Patricia. Lourdes Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Joanna. Joanna, my goodness, Joanna, thank you. Uh, let's see, Margarita Stephanie. Mayra Melanie. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson Edgardo. Thank you. Let's see, Ophelia. Here, teacher. Thank you, Osmin Baires. I'm here, teacher. 
Thank you, Rafael Ernesto. Present. Nice. Uh, Rosa Elena. Present. Thank you. Alexandra Gladys. Present. Thank you. Susana Carolina. Present. Thank you, Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Susma. Teacher, I'm here. Present. Margarita. Margarita, yes, you do have the attendance. Surma. Present. Nice. Wow, we have full house today. Full house. Oh, see. Están todos. Esto es algo épico. Siempre por A o B motivo, siempre falta uno, o entra uno, se sale otro. And this is, my goodness. Están hasta para tomarles una foto ahorita. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, les quiero mencionar el percentage that we have so far with the attendance para que vean cómo van ahí algunos. Eh, we have until Friday, okay. Esto está sacado hasta el día viernes. El porcentaje va en 60%. O sea, ya pasamos la mitad del módulo, right? So, usted debería de tener un 60% de asistencia. Le voy a decir así rapidito cuánto lleva cada uno. So, Ada Patricia tiene 53.97. Adri Stephanie tiene 51.97. Ana Michelle tiene 53.20. Angela, excelente, tiene el 60%. Darwin, excelente, igual tiene el 60%. Flor de María tiene 44.07. Eh, Gloria Elizabeth tiene 53.70. Joana Patricia, 17.67. Lourdes Beatriz, 48%. Margarita Stephanie, 28.37. Mayra Melanie, 53.47. Nelson Edgardo, 48.97. Ofelia Orellana, 59.97. Bastante bien, prácticamente el 60. Eh, Osmin Baires, excelente, 59.93, casi el 60. Eh, Rafael Ernesto 51.90 Rosa Elena 56.63 Sandra Gladys 54.17 Susana Carolina 37.03 Jancy Lisbeth bastante bien 55.67 eh, Zulma Rosaura, 48.67. So, ese es el porcentaje que llevan de el, la attendance eh, hasta el día viernes, right? Eso no, no incluye lo de ahora. So, please do not miss classes, ok? Do not miss classes because the attendance, you know that it's mandatory for you to Uh, get at least 85%. Uh, sorry for the parentheses that I have right here, but um, no sé si ya recibieron ustedes en sus correos la información de la inscripción del siguiente módulo. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. En teoría entiendo que ya les están mandando eh, a sus correos o con recursos humanos, dice que consulte directamente a recursos humanos de sus empresas si la documentación ya fue enviada. Ok, o sea, hasta donde yo sé, ustedes gestionan con recursos humanos, right, de su compañía, de donde usted trabaja y ellos le firman algo, algo así, tengo entendido, right. So, entonces asegúrense de que hagan este proceso porque dicen acá que Fecha límite de recepción de documentos es el viernes 10 de diciembre. Así es que FYI creo que igual se los han mandado por ahí el correo, no sé. 
o a su este, eh, jefe de recursos humanos, no sé quién le firma, quién le da esos papeles a usted, pero el punto es que debe de ser enviado antes de él. 10 de diciembre, que ya este próximo coming Friday, right? So, para que este, lo tengan presente ahí, no se vaya a quedar usted fuera de la, de la inscripción para el next uh, year, next month, right? So, nice. Okay, I'm sharing the screen one more time and we are going to continue with the um, uh, questions that we have based on the paragraph, right? So let me create rooms right here. And what we are going to do, basically answer the five questions that we have right here based on the, the paragraph that we just read, right? So let me see how many we are right now to break up rooms. Okay, let me create like four groups, for example. Yeah, four groups will be enough. Okay, so algunos van a quedar de cinco, creo que uno de seis. So please answer the questions based on the reading, right? So basados en la lectura que usted realizó, ahí usted me va a contestar cada una de esas preguntas, pero déjeme ver aquí, ya vemos 6655. Ok, so are we clear what we are going to do? Yes? Yeah, yes. yes. Ok, perfect. So let me open the rooms and we have five minutes, ok? One minute per each question, ok? Full answers, ok? And complete answers, please. Hello, hello, Ophelia. No, ahí está ya. Answer. What are the most important factors? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Determine the selling price. The factor, the important, there are three important factors. What is the most important? The cost. The cost production. The cost of production and mm -hmm. market. What is the most important factor? Más importante para considerar la, la, el precio de un producto, ¿verdad? para un producto. Yes. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuáles son los factores más importantes? Ah, así es. Mm -hmm. Ajá, plural. Mm -hmm. ah, en la tercera línea dice, first determine how much. No sé si será ese el primero. For me, for me, for me, the answer is the uh, what are the most important factors? Ah, oh, to consider when setting a price for a product. Mm -hmm. For me, the market demand and the decide, decided market. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mm. 
Por eso es sí, el... arriba está, ajá, the cost of production, the market demand. Um, uh -huh. Son ejemplo. los factores más importantes. Ajá, porque si no puedes calcular el cuánto vale un producto si no tenés el costo de producción. O sea, ¿cuánto uh -huh. te costó producirlo para tener el costo del producto? Y, y a... Ah, eso para mí como... Ah, uh -huh, for me, for me for the me. answer are the three. The cost production, the market demand. Ajá. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. uh -huh, the cost. Uh -huh. Sí. The cost production, the market demand, and the desired uh -huh. market by the business. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. There you go. Okay. What are some examples of fixed cost? Mm. What are some and, examples of or fix of fixes cost? Mano de obra, como se dice en English. Manufacturing space. The machine hours? No. Mano de obra. Mm -hmm. Es un costo fijo. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Some so, examples. Fix it. Pero y la pregunta dos dice algunos ejemplos y en la segunda línea del primer párrafo dice, por ejemplo, la renta del de la oficina donde se va a producir. Ajá. Sí. Ajá. Ese podría ser un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Sí. La renta yes. de la oficina. Ajá. Mm -hmm. And the co variable cost. Luego dice, siempre en esa misma línea, los mm -hmm. costos variables incluyen sales volumen. ¿Qué es sales volumen? Sales, volumen de ventas. La cantidad mm -hmm. de ventas. Mm -hmm. Y de materiales. Uh -huh. Es un ejemplo de variable de costo, creo. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. Sales volume. Eh, labor in materials. Eh, correcto. No, pero ese es un ejemplo de costos variables. Ah, ya, ya se pasaron a la tercera. Yes. <risa> yes. Es <risa> 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 rápido. Y la primera. Perdón que me regrese a la primera. Y la primera son los tres puntos. Yes. Costo de producción, margen de marca y sí. determine. Yes. Ah, yes. Side of mark. Ok. Mark. Me dejó la coste. <risa> vale. La cuatro. Ajá. Uh -huh. How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Oh, demanda. Okay. 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 
¿Cómo puede la demanda de mercado afectar el precio de su producto? ¿Cómo se traduce la pregunta 4? ¿Cómo te afecta la, la demanda del mercado el precio ¿Cómo? del producto? El precio de su producto. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo afecta la... la demanda de mercado el precio de un, de un producto uh -huh. o de su producto? Mm. As a consumer income goes up, so does demand for a product. Mm -hmm. Sí. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cuando, cuando sube sí. la demanda, sube. Mm -hmm. How does market demand affect the pricing? I think that is, uh -huh. as a consumer income mm -hmm. goes up, so does demand for a product. Mm -hmm. Aunque también podríamos poner uh -huh. desde donde dice um, direct relationship between consumer income and demand. Y luego ponemos uh -huh. eso. As a consumer uh -huh. income goes up, so does uh -huh. demand for a product. Estaríamos diciendo uh -huh. que como incluso desde, desde donde dice there is usually a positive uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es, Esas líneas serían relationship. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Desde dónde sería? Perdón? De, en la is? última, Darwin, donde dice, there is usually uh -huh. a positive or, or direct uh -huh. relationship between consumer income and demand. Y luego se pone, as a consumer oh God, income so goes up, so those <laughs> demand for a product. Okay, what va va variables influence to determ determine, determine, <laughs> determine the market percentage? Determine, determine. 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 No me digan determine, no, determine, determine. Determine, determine. 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 Ah, yes, it's like terminator. Determine, yes, yes. make the move. Terminate. I think the term uh, by the amount of your money profit. Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. It uh, is the term in the in the the term 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 the 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 or service you are selling mm -hmm. and how rapidly the product sales and the amount of service performance by the seller. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about that? Mm -hmm. Seria uno, uh -huh, por el tipo de productos. The market Uno, percentage. Uh -huh. the amount. What of by, by the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The amount of your plant profit, mm -hmm. the, type, the, type the type of the product, or service you are selling, mm -hmm. and how rap, 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 rapidly how the product sells and the amount of sales. Okay. Mm -hmm. Performance by the seller. Mm -hmm. okay. Osmin, you are very quiet today. What happened with you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened to you? Uh -huh. What happened with you? <laughs> you are very quiet. You don't want to speak oh, today. You. you don't want to speak today. Se le comieron la lengua a los ratones a Osmin. ¿Cómo? Yes. How do you say se le se comieron la lengua a los ratones? No, no, I, I am. He was, he was, he was on focus. <laughs> yes. Vamos a ver si es verdad. Repeat all the answer, Osmin. <laughs> the, in, in the last answer, the market person is determined 
by the amount of your friend. Oh my God, profile. you pay attention. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, you pay good. attention. <laughs> <laughs> you, you was focused. Focus. Only the last question. <laughs> ah, only the last. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> okay. Adriana, se, com se comieron la lengua los ratones. The mice ate your tongue. <laughs> The mice ate your tongue. <laughs> se comieron la lengua, uh -huh. se comieron tu lengua los ratones. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Just on time, right? Just on time. I don't know if you finish at least the two groups in which I was there. So you finish, right? So let's see. Let me share the screen one more time and see. Okay, so oops. let's see. Number one, that would be for Jancy Elizabeth. Please read the question and tell us the answer, please. Okay, what are the most important factors to consider when selling a price for a product? Uh, the cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the in and the decider markup by the business. Okay, perfect. So basically, the answers are the three, uh, like subtopics, right? This one, the cost of production, market demand, and determine the uh, determining the markup, right, of a product. Nice, yeah, that's the answer, okay? Nice. Uh, let's see, Gloria, Elizabeth, number two, please. Uh, 
Okay, number two. What are the example or fixing costs? Uh, the rent uh, for your office or manufacturing space. Okay, yeah, perfect. So those are two examples, right? The office rent and the manufacturing space. Nice. Let's see, number three, uh, Flor de Maria, please. Okay, okay, what are example of variable cost? The sales volume and labor and materials. Okay. So examples, labor and materials, that's what I have, right? Labor and materials, those are examples of variable cost. Como decimos eso en español, ese es el, los costos variantes, right? Algo que no siempre va a ser igual cada mes en la, pensando en la en producción, right? Cuando no está produciendo algo. Nice. Uh, let's see, Rafael, Ernesto, please. Number four. Okay. Uh, for me, um, as price fall, demand rises, and as price rise, demand falls. Okay. So, how does market demands affect the pricing of your product? Okay, so the answer, yeah, it is correct. There is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As price fall, demand rises. And as prices rise, demands falls. So that's the famous expression, right? Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rosa Elena, please help us with the number five. What variables influence to determine, 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 yeah. <laughs> determine, determine the market percentage, um, the amount of the planet profit, the type of the product or service that uh, we are selling, and how rapid, rapidly the product sells and the, and the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay, perfect. Yeah, those are the four answers. Okay, so the amount of planner profit, the type of the product of service, how rapidly the product sells and the amount of service performance by the seller. Okay, nice. Let's see. Let's continue, okay, let's move on. So nice, we have all the answers correct. My goodness. Now we are going to do something, okay? My goodness, we have, well, we have like 20 minutes, okay? So 20 minutes, I guess, enough time, okay? Enough time. So look, we have different topics or ideas okay that we can choose okay you just have to choose one okay so we have a list okay what we are going to do you are going to write okay and this will be individually okay it's not in group it's not in pairs it's not in trios it's individually okay i can take a screenshot of this and i can Share it in the WhatsApp group in case if you don't have the later, if you don't have the picture later on. So what we are going to do, choose just one. Okay, look, there are many, many different topics. So choose uh, one of the squares and you are going to write a small paragraph about your selection. Okay, for example, it says right here, Describe you, describe your mom or dad, favorite holiday. This one, think of that rhyme with a plate. 
uh, have your mom or dad write about their favorite memory of first or second grade, write about the funniest thing that has ever happened to you, write a letter to the principal, write a journal entry in the dark with a flashlight. My goodness, uh, read, uh, read a story to mom or dad, have a mom or dad write a brief summary about the book, write about the best field trip you went on, make a list of your favorite foods, uh, read the story by yourself, write a brief summary about the story, write three questions you would like to ask the president of the United States or El Salvador can be, right? Write down 10 themes you can hear at home. Write a thank you note to somebody. Write sign words in showing uh, cream. My goodness. Have your mom or dad write three reasons they are proud of you, okay? So obviously you can adapt this to the reality because this, uh, uh, instructions are like for kids, right? We are not kids, right? So, but obviously we can take us an example, right? Right, uh, as many words as you can think of, of that begin with CH, my goodness. Write about your favorite animal, write uh, work with your finger or mom or dad says right here, uh, back, and have them guess it, write two sentences about the weather, check punctuation, write a poem with mom or dad, write a story of your choice. Okay, so different actions, okay? So choose just one and we are going to write, okay? We are going to write a small paragraph, but the idea is use, right? So you can use uh, present perfect, se acuerdan del present perfect, right? So you can use present perfect and you can use the uh, linking words. Did you remember the addition, contraction words that we, uh, we studied last week? And also you can use the direct or indirect questions in the paragraph, okay? Use your creativity, use your imagination, use all the words that you need to in order for you to complete, okay? So as soon as you have your writing thing, so you can share the, the writing in the WhatsApp group, okay? So you can uh, put it there, okay? So I don't know if it is clear what we are going to do. We have to choose one. Yeah, just one square, just okay, one. one square. For example, oh if I choose this one, write about the best field trip you went on. So I'm going to start writing just about a trip, okay? Something I went to La La La, so oh, I enjoyed okay. La La La. I had been in La La La, present perfect. Uh, you can use connections in addition and also uh, besides that. So all the words that we studied right last week. And also you can use your imagination and choose like, right, like a direct question. Teacher, excuse me. Yep. Go ahead, uh, uh, Osman. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, I, I take... Uh, any example? Yeah. Remember yeah. that there are different options, okay? So oh, okay. just choose one, okay? For example, Osmin, imagine that you choose this one, that you are going to write a poem with uh, mom or dad. So in this yeah. case, you can write a poem with your family. I had okay. been in love with my family, okay? So use present perfect. Present perfect, remember, is a tense that we can use when we refer something that is done in the past, but still we can continue with the activity in the present. 
Yes, no, they can check. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Questions about this? My goodness, we have 15 minutes only, okay? So if you need help, so remember that this is individually. So if you need help, so let me know, okay? If you need to, if you want to know how to say something, how you can write something. So remember that in English, we have four skills, right? right? The English language, we have four skills, listening, reading, speaking, writing, okay? So you need to, you need to work in the four, um, you need to work in the four skills, right? Four skill. We have to use present perfect, you say? Yeah, we can, we are going to use present perfect. We are going to use indirect questions. We can use uh, linking words, the connection words, the ones that are addition words or contrast words. But if I want to tell you something in the past, can I use the present perfect? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you can use. Remember that that depends on the topic. For example, ya tomé el del poema, right? Yes. For example, in my case, I'm going to I'm going to tell you about a trip that I had with my daughter two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. If the activity is over, 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 so it's just in past, but you can mention something that can affect you in the present, right? For example, oh, for example, I, I for have example, okay. never mm -hmm. went on that. Uh, yes, uh huh. For example, okay, yes, I understand mm -hmm. because my daughter never have been in Guatemala. Okay, so okay. she has never okay. been there. Okay. So. okay, 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 okay. I got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. If you need help with a work, did you already select your um, Questions, questions, questions. If you don't know how to say something, you can ask, hey, how do you say blah, blah, blah. Can I stop sharing or no? No, mejor no. Solo que no lo veo a todos. Teacher, de todas vamos a responder. Ah, no, Flor, it's just one. Usted solo va a escoger un cuadrito. Y ah, ese okay. cuadrito es el que usted va a escribir. Ah, okay. Thank
questions, questions, questions. Five more minutes, well, less than five, it's 50. My goodness, I have one, Stephanie. I decided to write about making a list of my favorite food. <laughs> my goodness, my number six. I was going to put sopa de pata, pero. Mejor pose mundo. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. That's the way it, it's called, right? Mundongo. Let's see. We finish. Who oh, Santoni Alejandro? Okay, we finish. 
I'm going to send the teacher, but it's a difficult using the, the present perfect for me. I was used to write in the past, but okay. this, is a, this is a there, uh, how do you say? Uh, challenge. Challenge? <laughs> this Finish. is a, yes, this is a challenge, a reto. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, Remember this is a that challenge for present, me. <laughs> present perfect is uh, intermediate, almost yes. advanced I was, topic. I was reading everything about present perfect <laughs> and I, I'm trying to, to correct some words, but I send you that uh, that I have. <laughs> okay, let me see. Remember, um, when we say that the age, we use verb to be, right? I am 20 years old. He is, she is, we are 20, okay? Verb to be, okay? If we use have or has, Sí, yo le entiendo que usted me quiere decir él tiene, ella tiene, right? But we don't have the years, okay? So yo no tengo los, los años aquí. Mire, aquí tengo cuatro, no, right? So that's why we use the verb be, okay? So we say, oh, he is, she is, even if it is an animal. So the same story, okay? No puedo usar el has. Para decir, él tiene un año, él tiene cuatro años. So, we need to put is, right? He is, she is. Okay, so please, uh, thank you for the ones that are already shared right here. I'm checking right here your writings, okay? Vamos a escribir quizás un poquito más seguido, okay? So we need to practice, we need to practice. As I told you, English is not just reading, okay? Es bien normal y ya no tengo tiempo para muchas cosas para decirles, pero it's really common, okay? Es bien común escuchar a los estudiantes decir, Mire, si yo leo, yo entiendo. Y mire, yo le escucho, yo le entiendo todo. Pero al momento de hablar, al momento de escribir, nos quedamos a veces cortos. ¿Por qué? Porque no tenemos palabras, no tenemos eh, enough vocabulary, ¿ok? Enough vocabulary para escribir. Y the same story. If you don't know the birds, the past, the past participles, Usted no puede escribir. O sea, usted me puede decir, no es que yo quiero decirle tal cosa. But if you don't know the words, so you don't have enough vocabulary, y se queda corto de palabras, ¿ok? So, uh, thank you for the ones that already uh, shared the, 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 the activity. Y ahí veo que algunos están todavía writing. So, send it, please, today. So, I have to pass the attendance. I have just three minutes, ¿ok? So, Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Um, Ana Michelle. Present. Thank you. Angela. Present, teacher. Thank you. Darwin. Present, teacher. Thank you. Flor de Maria. Present. Thank you. Joanna Patricia. Gloria. Joana Patricia? No. 
Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Lourdes Beatriz. Margarita Stephanie. Mayra, I'm here. Thank you, Mayra Melanie. Thank you. Nice, Nelson Edgardo. Ofelia Orellana. Here, teacher. Thank you, Osmin Baires. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael Ernesto. Present. Good night. Good night, Rosa Elena. Present. Thank you, Sandra Gladys. Present. Thank you, Susana Carolina. Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, Sulma Rosaura. Present. Nice. Uh, Susana Carolina. Ya no está Susana Carolina. Ok. No, sí, ahí está, pero no está ahí en la cámara. Eh, Susana, 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 Susana. Ahí está. Susana Carolina, eh, me regala unos 10 eh, minutos al final, please. Ok. Thank you. So nice. So. Thank you for uh, your time. Todos tienen presente ahí, no se preocupen. Este, so, time is over. Please send the, the activity, okay? I still have many of you pending. So, and thank you for being here. So I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you and uh, take care. Have a good rest of the night. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Thank Take you. care. Bye. Bye bye. bye. Good, Good night. Bye, bye teacher. Bye everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye teacher. Bye. Bye bye. Vale, vamos a ver, se ha quedado pegado o oh, Nelson, Michelle, vamos a esperar, ya, ya van a salir. Ok. Bien, permita, vamos a sacar aquí no a, a, Nelson. Uh -huh. a Nelson, ¿por qué? Ok, bien. No le voy a quitar mucho tiempo. Susana, ¿qué tal? Buenas noches. ¿Cómo está? Buenas ¿Cómo, noches. ¿cómo, bien. ¿Cómo ha sentido en este, este módulo? Mire que ya vamos ya de, de bajada, ya de salida. No pues la sé. verdad, la verdad. Solo la verdad. <risa> pues de todas las clases, de todos los profesores, usted es la que más me ha gustado. Me gusta mucho la clase, porque me, me, a diferencia de otros que también eran buenos, sí se toma el tiempo de explicarnos más. Por ejemplo, siento que es más paciente y otros nos llevaban muy a la carrera en algunas cosas. Entonces sí me gusta porque por lo menos con, el, con los temas de la semana pasada se detuvo a explicarnos todavía adicional del tiempo, ¿verdad? O sea, lo que fue en el paso, en el... En el presente participe en ese past, present 
Ok, excelente. Eso es bueno. La verdad que eh, yo pues siempre he pensado que por la hora, pues, o sea, yo no puedo venir aquí solo a estar hablando, hablando y hablando. Y, ah, pues, eh, todos estamos cansados y pues sí, se van a dormir, right? So, yo sí. tengo que ver aquí que lo pongo, que lea, que escriba, que hable, que diga algo, que trabaje con un equipo, que se mueva con otra gente y eso, que ustedes, aunque estamos eh, de manera virtual, pues, pero, pero que ustedes tengan alguna actividad que hacer y eso los mantenga despiertos y los mantenga este, eh, motivados, interesados en el tema, right? Sí. Ese, esa es la idea y, y pues yo se los dije desde un inicio, pues yo eh, tengo eso de que yo soy paciente y si a mí me dicen, mire, repita, mire, vuelva y, y yo no entendí, lo volvemos a mencionar. La idea es que las cosas queden claras, ¿verdad? Que, que el tema usted le, lo entienda y nunca se le olvide, porque sí. si uno a veces va así muy rápido, que pienso yo que pueda que haya pasado anteriormente, es como si lo vimos, pero ya no me acuerdo, ¿verdad? Right? Porque sí, siento fue algo... que se enfocaban, se enfocaban mucho en que terminar el libro, en lo que está en el libro, a terminar lo que estaba. Uh -huh. o sea, y, no igual tanto... nosotros también, si se fija, el libro lo llevamos al día, vamos justo a la unidad sí. 3, este, pero sí, yo trato de eh, sí, ponerle no un extra. Más. No ha explicado más. Y también siento que nos involucra a todos. Sí, eh, créame que me ha, no es algo tan fácil, pero yo, pues al que... Todo, trato yo que todo el que viene a la clase, aunque sea algo, diga, lea, mencione algo, porque todos tienen derecho y, y la obligación de participar también. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, aunque algunos a veces ahí me apagan la cámara que no quieren, pero de una o de otra manera, pues trato de, de que el grupo esté igual, ¿verdad? Nadie más, sí. nadie menos. Entonces, sí, eso es sentido. Eso me ha gustado mucho. <ríe> Ok, que me alegro, Susana. Y fíjese que usted, la verdad que tiene muy buena pronunciación. Lastimosamente creo que también su trabajo a veces le hace que venga ahí de carrera a, a conectarse. Más sin embargo, pues yo siento que usted tiene un buen nivel. No sé si había estudiado anteriormente en algún otro lugar. No, 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 pero sí este, me gusta mucho. O sea, estoy tratando de hacer desde hace tiempo y ocupo muchas, por ejemplo canciones generalmente en inglés que vienen con la traducción y tanto a veces me pongo con eso y bajo varios videos cortos de, de como de enseñanzas o de tips y de cosas así excelente y hace poco y hace poco he intentado he intentado ponerme a leer en inglés Entonces, mm, eso está ahí. muy bien excelente y o sea... de vez en cuando sí eh, trato de ver televisión o videos solo en inglés Uh -huh. eso, uh -huh. eso trato ok so, eso definitivamente les ayuda es lo que yo les he venido mencionando o sea pequeños ¿Sí? tips mire haga eso hago lo otro y yo sé que pues sí, ustedes están ocupados yo siempre se los he dicho por eso yo no le voy a dar algo que es imposible que lo hagan lo por... que creo que sí nos hace falta Así como que a todo el grupo es como, como y yo creo que es difícil por, por el tiempo que tenemos, es como interactuar así en una conversación así como libre. Uh -huh. Como que digamos, te sale, solo vamos a hablar así, ves como, como, porque cuando ha pasado que cuando un profesor por algo motivo está fuera de la clase, o sea, hasta nos alegramos, no o sé, sea, empezamos a hablar y todo y esa, aunque sea así en línea. Entonces, crear como que ese compañerismo, ese miedo a hablar delante de, o sea, a que si me equivoco, eso como que se pierde y te ayuda mucho. 
Uh -huh. Sí, sí, definitivamente. O sea, eso yo y yo se los he dicho con todos los que he hablado, que el grupo es bastante bonito. Yo siento que son bastante unidos. O sea, no, no veo yo que, que como en otros grupos, mire, yo no trabajo con fulano, a mí no me ponga con mengano. Uh -huh. O sea, yo siento que aquí no existe ese problema. O sea, con quien lo ponga, el, el grupo trabaja. Entonces, uh -huh. eso es bueno, eso es bueno. Ahora, siempre va a haber alguien que habla más que otro. ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, cuando sí, eso sí. pasa, yo noto que algunos se quedan mejor, yo no digo nada, pero no es lo correcto, o sea, aunque yo diga, men, que yo no mucho puedo, me trabo y todo, pero yo lo voy a intentar, uh -huh. porque si no, pues nunca vamos a salir de nuestro, de nuestro sí. miedo, pena, pero en el caso suyo, Susana, yo no veo ese problema, como le digo, yo veo que usted, lo que yo le pregunto, pues usted siempre responde y, y bastante bien, buena pronunciación, quizás algunos detallitos ahí de gramática, sí. pero no es algo que usted se quede callada, pues, sino que bastante bien. Ok, eso es bueno, voy a seguir así. Definitivamente, Explicando. música, si mire lo que le digo, el teléfono. O sea, Yo ya lo pasé, la máquina y el teléfono, solo que con la máquina he tenido líos, porque como lo paso al inglés, me toca estar ahí activando después el español por las tildes y otros signos, porque la máquina no me los reconoce, pero sí me ha servido más. Sí, definitivamente. O sea, ahí se más. aprende mucho, muchas palabras, muchas y en ocasiones, cosas. ocasiones, no sé si los compañeros lo han hecho, poner el WhatsApp en inglés. Que toda la conversación a usted le sale en inglés. No sé si eso lo han hecho, eso también, también lo he probado. La, pero ya solamente en la aplicación, dice usted, le convierte. Me convierte el texto en inglés. Yo lo pongo en la máquina, lo activo en la máquina y ahí tengo una opción donde lo paso y todo me lo convierte al inglés. Todo, todo. Las conversaciones también de las... Sí, las conversaciones también. Entonces sí, eso me ha ayudado ah, a ver. No sabía que se podía hacer eso. Ajá, pero pues es... probé, ya voy probando. Mm. O sea, lo voy haciendo varias veces. Eso está bien, mire, o sea, porque... Uh -huh. Es que eso es lo que necesitamos, leer, escuchar, hablar, sí. ver el inglés por todos lados para mejorar, sí, pero eh, ahí vamos, ahí vamos y aunque ya vamos casi de salida al módulo, todavía tenemos tiempo, la otra semana vamos a hacer algunos repasos y eso para que pues quede claro todo lo que hemos visto en este módulo. Sí, pero está bien, y yo creo eso, que, que realmente si uno lo practicara más, en el día, ¿verdad? no solo las dos horas, sino que si yo tuviera alguien con quien conversarlo así, en el más fluido, en el trabajo fuera diferente. Sí, claro, definitivamente, uh -huh. pero en lo que usted pueda, eh, ocúpese, o sea, como yo le digo, escuchar música, ver la televisión, ¿Sí? lo que yo normalmente hago todos los días, o sea, eso ayuda un montón, definitivamente le da más palabras, le da pronunciación, sí. le da gramática, porque usted escucha la estructura sí. y así es como van ustedes perfeccionando. Y cuando venimos aquí a la clase debemos de aprovechar a hablar, hablar y hablar y hablar, porque aquí es el momento que yo tengo para ocupar sí, el idioma. Y donde igual la, nos corrigen la pronunciación y eso también es bueno. Exacto. Bien, bueno, eh, Susana, ya no le quito mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Gracias, Gracias. por el, la, el de pelo aquí conmigo. Y un Ay, gusto. de verdad, a veces, a veces yo pido disculpas con todos los profesores porque sí, a veces tengo muy cansado. No, a veces claro, yo, 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 yo mejor no me conecto porque digo, no, me estoy durmiendo, no aguanto. No aguanto, de verdad. Ajá. Pero lo importante es que está haciendo el esfuerzo y, y yo sé que algo, poquito, poquito va agarrando cada sí. clase. Sí, así que vamos. Bueno, pues gracias, un gusto. Usted, Cualquier gracias. cosa ahí estoy para poderles ayudar. Pasen muy buenas noches. Buenas noches. Gracias. Hasta mañana. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.